Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 12th video of our LZH Project series, Linux Zero to Hero. And today's discussion is UMask. UMask is basically the continuation of our previous discussion. However, I have to create a new video for it because uh, I just don't want to keep files lengthy. And UMask stands for Users File Creation Mode Access. And this is the set of permission for newly created files by a particular user. What I mean is like if a user creates a file, what sets of permission they get by default. So let's check UMask by typing UMask. So most like by default, the users have this permission 0022, which means a read write access for uh, the owner, a read access for group, and read access for others. So, I'll, with this permission, I'll just get back here in a minute. Uh, I would like to mention here one thing which I think I forgot in my previous videos. Uh, for files, full permission is six uh, until and unless it's a script, because uh, to execute a file, uh, you need uh, permission 7 which means uh, like read write and execute uh, but without a script like a file is not a script these two permissions means full access for file because it's read and write so for files 6 is the number you have to look for in case of folders it's 7 because execute and folders mean to check the content of the folder also without execute you cannot check the content of the fol folder you get the permission denied so anyway you just need to keep these things in mind okay now back to umask so uh, umask means that uh, let's let me create a file so i'll create a file so who am i right now user b Touch umask uh, dot txt. Okay, so if we check this file, sorry, umask, you can see we have read write read read permission. Why? Because any file user will create will get a umask of zero zero two two, which means he will always have read write access and others will have read and read what if we would like to change this access we can do this for every user by going into his home directory and dot bash rc file uh, let me switch to user root and i would like to go in uh, sorry home directory of user b and bash rc i will edit this file at the very end i have i have already added this but you can uh, just uh, you need to add these uh, few lines okay so what i would like to do is i want uh, the user gets uh, the owner gets full permission in umask zero is full uh, and the other should get, uh, let's say, no permission at all. So I'll write seven. Seven is no permission in uh, UMask, basically. And we will get full permissions for, uh, sorry, full permissions for group and no permission for other let's check now okay switch back to user b type umask and here we have 0007 let's create a file touch umask uh, dot, uh, like new.txt clear the screen ls hyphen l you mask new and we can see that we have read write read write uh, full permission for uh, the owner full permission for group and no permission for others 
Okay, so uh, now we would like to change the U mask again, and let me uh, let me first tell you the table how it uh, you uh, calculates the U mask. Zero means full. One means read write. Two means uh, read and execute. Three means read only. Four means, I think, write and execute. Uh, yes. Three means read. Four means write and execute. Five is write. Uh, six is execute. And seven is no no permission at all so this is how we calculate umask and now let's uh, give this file umask new uh, read and write for the owner and only read permissions for group and read permission for others and we can see that we need to give umask of 0, uh, 3, 3. Yeah, let's give and try. So to do that, now we are already root. Let's go to home directory of user b dot bash rc. Change. 033 switch to user B who am I okay let's touch a file um, user dash B dot txt ls dash L and we should get read write X uh, permission for the owner or user B and read read access for groups and other and there we go so this is how you mask works